Hello, Deborah here. I just thought that I would share a quick video with you on how I use Dropbox for posting to my Instagram account. Let me show you how it works. First, you need a Dropbox account. If you don't have one, you can go to dropbox.com and set up a free account. What you will do is choose or create an image that you would like to share on Instagram. Currently, the proper size is 1080px by 1080px or pixels, and this could change. We will just have to see what Instagram decides to do. You go to your Dropbox account and you create a new folder. Name it Instagram. You place the image in the folder either by copying and pasting it or moving it to your Instagram folder. You also need to have Dropbox on your cell or mobile phone. If you have it on your phone, the next thing you do is go to your Dropbox account there. You then open the new Instagram folder that you just created. Find the image that you wish to post on Instagram. Select it. For my cell phone, my operating system, if I tap the image, then options appear. I see a new menu revealed. So I have to tap the down arrow in the upper right hand corner and I get a drop down menu. From that menu, I choose export. If you have no crop installed on your cell or mobile phone, then that will be the next step. If you don't, you need to download at the Google Play Store the free no, no crop program. What you find with Instagram is when you go to post a photo, it will want to crop your photo to a certain size. Since we, we are photographers or people that appreciate all the time and effort that we put into processing our photos, we don't want to crop them, so we use no crop. If you do not have it installed and you have to go install it, you'll have to start over again at step two. The next thing you do is in the upper right hand corner, you will see the share icon. Click it you will choose Instagram. Because you do not need to edit or do anything else to the photo, the next screen you will see is a blue arrow in the upper right hand corner. That's the arrow that you would like to click. On the left it will say crop. We do not want to crop, so click the blue arrow on the right. The next screen will show you another blue arrow on the right. Again, you want to tap that blue arrow. Then you will find yourself on the Instagram uh, site. So once you're there, you need to make sure that you delete the automatic text that no crop puts for the caption. You need to backspace and get that out of there. Then you will be able to tag people Add your image to a photo map. You can add hashtags, which I highly recommend. And you can also click options to share this image on other social media platforms like Facebook or Twitter. Then add the caption or message that you would like to add to your image. When you are finished, you will click the blue check mark in the right hand corner and you will now have shared your image to Instagram. The next thing you will want to do is view your image on your mobile or cell phone and also on other devices to see how it looks. You will notice that I have used my cell phone and my laptop. The image is the appropriate size, it looks good on any device, and it is not cropped. By the time I went to look at my image on my laptop, I saw that I had four uh, likes already. So now it's the exciting time. You sit back and wait for all of your positive responses. Enjoy!